This is NBC Connecticut Today at 930. In news you can use this morning, many of us have smart devices, but do you know how to keep them safe from hackers? We have a special guest with us, Linda Coopersmith, joining us this morning. She's the president of CMIT Solutions in Stanford, and she has tips on how to do just that. So what have you brought to show us? Security on your phone is very important. It, it is very important. Um, CMIT Solutions uh, manages thousands of devices, both locally and nationally. And so our business uh, clients really make us responsible for being able to make sure that they can keep their devices secure so they can be productive. But whether you're using your mobile device for business or personal use, one of the most important things that you can do is be able to make sure that you're up to date with your updates. Okay. The ones coming out from your carrier as well as your apps. Sure, those updates sometimes end up, you know, joggling up your phone, but they're also fixing bugs and most importantly, security flaws. And you don't hear a lot about them. And that's the good thing because you don't want more hackers to be able to get to know to other things. I mean, hacking, we're hearing about it all the time. It's in the news, whether it's your smartphone, whether it's your computer, a tablet like you brought here. I mean, what are you, what's the ultimate goal in having these security features on things like mobile devices? Well, with technology, you'd have a responsibility to be able to use it in a safe way. So the next thing that people need to be able to know is to be able to spend some time looking at the settings in their phone and becoming familiar with them. There's a common one that is defaulted, um, so the manufacturers will default the, all of the settings to what is easy for you to use. But easy to use is not necessarily secure. So uh, one of the settings is to allow remote control, for instance. Okay. Do you really need somebody to remote control your phone? The carrier might, but you can do that on an as-needed basis. So that is just one of the, the items on there. We prepared a website called securemyphone.cmitsolutions.com. Um, Excuse me. So it's actually securemyphone.cmitstanford.com. And that provides viewers with some additional security features that they should be aware of on their phone. Is there anything else maybe a not-so-advanced smartphone or tablet user should be aware of. Be careful when you're connecting to Wi-Fi's that are unsecure and in a public place, especially airports or wherever there's a large group of people, large cities. Those places are going to have your more sophisticated hackers. So there was a recent episode of um, cybersecurity that talked about phones being spoofed and somebody being able to connect to a hotspot that really wasn't a you know a public hotspot, right. but it really was a hacker. Right. So leave those banking transactions and paying your credit card bill to times when you're really on a better wireless. Device. Well, thank you so much. Those are wonderful tips. Stay with us. Coming up, Tyler's back with your forecast. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you.